Hi, welcome to another episode of I Can Alterix That with coaches Alex and John. I'm John. Today, we're going to cover Alterix Weekly Challenge number 206, Hotel Reservations. Let's get started. Hey, Alterix Weekly Challenge 206. Calculate the average hotel stay and count the number of hotel reservation IDs for all hotel reservations that were not canceled and at least one day in length. All right, let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got. I actually haven't seen this yet, so we've got 119,000 records of IDs, the arrival date year, the month, which is spelled out, the week number, the day of the month that they arrived, the reservation status, which looks like we've got checkout, canceled, and a few no-shows, and then the reservation status date. Okay, so let's go ahead and Actually, let's go ahead and put a select on here. They're all strings, but I saw the reservation status date is formatted the proper way. Four digit year, two digit month, two digit day with dashes in between. So I'll go ahead and just make that a date while we're at it. Oh, I actually didn't even look at the output. So for each month, we want to calculate the average length and the count. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a date for the arrival. So I'll put a formula together, call this arrival date. And so we've got the arrival year. And I'm going to go like this with some dashes, the arrival month, put some dashes, and the day of the month. And you see in the preview, we've got 2015 July 1. So now what I'm going to do is use a date time parse. This will be our date time. And the format will be percent sign uppercase Y, which is four digit year, dash, percent uppercase B, which is the spelled out month, dash, percent sign lowercase D, which is our day. And you see right there, now we've turned it into the right format. And we'll set this as a date field type. Go ahead and run it. I didn't see any errors pop up. And now we have our arrival date. Everything's okay there. Okay, that looks good. So now let's go ahead and filter out. Well, we know we want to filter the cancellations and reservation status. So we go ahead and reservation status cannot equal canceled. And we also want at least one day in length. So if we go back to our data, See, reservation status is checkout, and then the date. So this is saying that our checkout date was 2015-07-01. So what we want to do is do the date time difference of this date, which is our exit date, and the arrival date, and want to make sure that that is at least one. So basically that they're not checking out the same day they got there. So I'll do and date time diff. It's the end date is the first one. The second date is our start date, and we'll put this in days. And we want that to be greater than or equal to one. If you go ahead and run this, okay, we got, we've now got 74,460 records. So let's go ahead and connect, summarize, we'll group by the month, I think that's the month field. Yep. So when a group by the month, we want to, oh, I forgot one more thing. We actually have to calculate the stay length. And again, that'll actually be the exact same thing we just put in the filter. I guess I could have been a little more efficient here, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Let's call that a double. Okay, so now we'll go back here. Group by month, we will average the stay length. And we will count the number of IDs. And what are these called? Month, average length of stay, number of reservations. Month, average length of stay, number of reservations. And if I run this, Hopefully it matches. I think it will. 
Unless there's some other little tricky bit that I missed. Alright, let's just... Alright, look at that. Everything's the same. Well, that was fun. So just like that, we've taken this really strangely formatted hotel stay data and then group together for each month the number of reservations and the average length of stay. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. As always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Data Coach channel for more awesome lessons on Alteryx and all things data, analytics, and visualization. Follow Data Coach on Twitter at AskTessellation and follow me personally at jemery underscore dataviz. Thanks again.